More than half a million candidates who qualified to join institutions of higher learning have not been placed in either universities or colleges through the Cook's system. Now, the Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Services says a majority of the students did not apply to join. Only 285,000 students will join either public and private universities and TVETs through the government placement system. And as Brenda Wanga now reports, the students will be the first to get funding through the new model. With just about a month to go to the start of the academic year 2023-2024 for the first year students, a clearer picture is emerging of how that year will look like for those joining. The Colleges and Universities Central Placement Services says a total of 140,107 students will join public and private universities, while 145,060 students will join TVETs across the country, bringing to 285,167 students placed. Welcome to this function. Nearly all of the students who applied for placement to either university or TVETs were placed in the institutions of higher learning. However, COOPS and the Ministry of Education say there is need to attract more of the students to study locally. We have a lot of um, you know, infrastructure, a lot of resources in these institutions that we would like uh, to have it used. What was most uh, worrying is that uh, in some of these uh, Ministry of Education Tibet institutions, we actually recorded zero in some institutions. We understand there are some that are still very young, uh, but as young as they are, it becomes a concern when we have almost three or four institutions that no student um, showed interest at all. This year's placement takes place under the new funding model for higher education, a factor that is believed to have affected the number of applications and the choice of courses picked by students. Kenyans are interested in education. We are the ones to look at what our policies are that could be restricted. Under the new model, funding has been moved from being university-centered to student and course-centered. However, the government says it is still keen on making this level of education affordable for the needy. For the first time, the students whose households are at the bottom of the pyramid shall enjoy equal opportunities in accessing university education and TV education through 100% government funding. This means... The households are not expected to pay anything for the program cost, and additionally, the students will receive upkeep from their own, their own proceeds. In the new model, 45,000 university students and 43,000 TVET students will get full government scholarships for their studies, while the vulnerable and the extremely needy will get 100% government funding divided into scholarships and loans with each component based on the students' needs and the family's economical situation. The needy and the less needy will receive 93% government funding with their families required to shoulder 7% of the cost of their education. The students will now have to apply for the funding through the funding portal that will determine the level of need of the students before determining what level of funding the applicant will get. The Ministry of Education says it has devised a tool that will enable foolproof the system against abuse by tapping into different data sets. Once they give us the index number, of course, the system is able to pick all the information that they have declared before with their CUSPs and it will be available at the touch of button and we don't expect a student to edit any of those areas which have been pre-populated based on the information that they submitted before. The Higher Education Funding Portal will be available for the students to process their applications for the next three weeks in preparation for the opening of universities in early September. <laughs> Brenda Wanga.